Hi, this is Sam with Simple Mama Beauty. I am gonna be doing a video in one take, at least trying to. Well, I might have to get up and do stuff every now and then. But anyways, I wanted to do a video on a foundation that is a powder foundation that is really great for your skin and just a really easy foundation and I wanted to do an easy kind of everyday look with it. But uh, if I sound terrible, I have a cold and I don't feel very good. But I just felt like filming and doing something. So here we go. All right, I like to start with my eyes and I prime them. So I'm gonna go in with my CoverGirl lid lock up. <sighs> I wish this cold would go away. My kids have a little bit of a cold too, but I feel like they're doing a lot better with it than I am, and I don't understand why. All right, I'm grabbing my color switch. Oop, sorry about that. I'm gonna go into my brown sugar palette from ColourPop. This is a really great palette for just everyday colors. But I'm gonna take this brush. That's the Luxie 250 Large Eye Blending Brush. I'm gonna go in with the shade Chai. And just kind of go all over my lid with that. This is a... I normally just cut out parts. So I gotta do more talking. But I love this palette. It's a great everyday palette. And it's small. And it's ColourPop, so it's affordable. ColourPop is so, so good. And right now they have a 25% off site-wide sale going on. So if you want to try it out, right now is a great time to try it out. Okay. And, oh, I forgot to tell you, I went in with the darker shade J Mocha to darken that up. And I'm going to go in with the shade Sorrel right now to darken that up a little bit more. Just in the outer V area. And I love this brush. I can do almost a full eye look with it. So, it's very nice. Uh, if you haven't checked out ColourPop, you seriously need to. They have very affordable stuff and it's very good. So I strongly suggest it. All right, I'm going to go in with the shade Auburn for my lid. And then in the inner corner, I'm going to go in with the shade Ginger. Uh, and I'm going to use this Lexi 209 Large Shader Brush. I love these shader brushes for doing my lid colors. They are so good. I know some people use almost like a concealer brush. It looks like, and I can't ever get the shadows to go on nicely with those. Uh. All right, now I'm gonna go with that shade Ginger on the same brush. Slowly just bring it into the other shade. Don't bring it in all the way, just like a third of the way in on the eyelid. All right, good. Oh, I forgot. I normally prime my whole face when I prime my eyes, but we'll do it now. I really have been loving my ColourPop All-Star Primer. This primer is so good. And it's affordable too, but... I feel like it actually does stuff. It makes my makeup last longer. And I, I feel like it smooths my face out a little bit more. Apply this on. Oh, I forgot to grab my lip primer. Really get that in the skin well. All right, I'm gonna give that a minute to set in. And once that's all set in, I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. But I feel like if I go in right away when that other primer is a little bit wet, it doesn't do very much. I noticed the other day when I did my makeup that once I let that other primer dry, it really stuck on better. But it's, I don't know if you can see it. 
It's a neat primer. I've been using it for a little while, but I haven't been letting my other primer sit and really kind of get more dry. And I don't feel like it's really been doing as much because it's just getting kind of mixed in with that other primer. Alright, I'm just mainly using that on my nose and my pores around my nose. <sighs> Alright, now that we're doing a powder foundation, you need to go in with your concealer first before your foundation. Because you're not going to be able to mix a cream product or a liquid product on top of a powder product. So we're going to go in and use our concealer. I had the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer. This is such a good concealer too. Nice and creamy and I feel like it doesn't get like dried out and creasy. Uh, and then I'm going to spot conceal too. Got some wonderful breakout. But this concealer is pretty dark. It doesn't go... This is the lightest shade and it's still pretty dark. So I'm going to go in with my Jeffree Star Concealer. Uh, Magic Concealer. This is the shade C4. And I'm just going to do a little dot right on the inner part to help lighten that up a little bit more. I'm gonna go in with my sponge. This is by Flower Beauty. Make sure it's wet and I wanna dry it out. That sounds odd, but you wanna get it all wet and then squeeze out the extra. And then um, I use a towel and kind of just dry it off a little bit more because I don't want it to be soaking wet still. And I feel like this sponge is the softest sponge I've used. It's by Flower Beauty, like I said. And I've used the Real Technique sponge and the Juno sponge and an Eco Tool sponge. This by far is the softest. So if you're looking for a really good soft sponge, this is where to go. And it's like $8. That looks good. Make sure I got all my other concealer to blend out. Yep. All right, I'm gonna set my under eyes with this Becca Powder Hydra Mist. This came in my BoxyCharm box. It's really neat. I've never had a powder like this, but it's got the little netting. But it's really cool. And it feels wet. It's that Hydra Mist. So it's really neat, but I'm just dipping my sponge in there and it comes up on the sponge. There you go. Oh, and my concealer already creased. So you gotta blend out those creases before you set them with your powder. Oh, Whew. Closing up that powder. You wanna make sure you seal this pretty good so that it doesn't dry out. I've heard that it dries out pretty quickly, but I haven't had that happen yet. Oh, I got flakes from blowing my nose so much under my nose. All right, now we are ready for the powder foundation. This is by Bare Minerals. It is their original foundation, but it's just in a different um, packaging for, I don't know, some special packaging. But I have the shade Fair 01. But this foundation is so great. It, you can get full coverage pretty much out of this. It just looks like this. You dump it out into the lid. Now I take a BH Cosmetics V11. This is very, very dense. If you want a more full coverage, you need to use a very dense brush. And this does so good. But I just kind of get some of the powder on it. Tap it off a little bit. And then just... Go in with it. Sorry if you can hear my dogs. Just keep doing that. I know I've seen some people not be able to get good coverage with this. I, I think they must be using the wrong brush. Because I know for the way how they say to use it, they have like a different brush that they have. That I don't think is as dense as this. 
and they tell you to swirl and then tap off the extra. Look. I just kind of try to get it in the brush pretty good. And then I don't really tap off that much. But I don't know. And this is the original foundation. They have a matte version and a uh, like acne rescue one, I think. But this one I really feel like is good for my skin. My skin I feel like looks better when I wear this foundation, like after I've taken it off. Sorry about my dogs. Well, I don't know if you can see. I think that is really, really good coverage. You can still kind of see my blemishes, but like they were pretty bad. So I don't think anything would really cover them up. I'm gonna get, oh, excuse me, just a little bit more. Get around my nose and my lip better. Ugh, that's cold, I tell you what. It's kicking my butt. Uh, I'm very thankful for my man. Yesterday, I told him that I wanted chocolate, that I needed chocolate. So he got stuff to make no-bake cookies, and he made me no-bake cookies. He's such a great guy. Kurt, if you're watching this, I love you, and I'm so thankful for you. <sighs> Oh, and he got me my favorite pop. I love Cherry Pepsi. Love, love, love it. And we were all out. And he got me like four, two liters of it. So he made me cookies and got me my favorite pop. I needed it. And I'm so thankful. But, all right. I'm just going to go out with my brush and keep blending this. It's not going to go away, Anya. And you're just gonna make sure that you have a smooth coverage that is nice and even. Oh, excuse me, I need a drink. Oh, yum. All right, and now since how this is a powder foundation, you don't have to go over it with another powder to set it or anything. So you can go right in with your other powder products. Like your bronzer, your blush, and such. Oh, I just love how this looks on my face. <coughs> mm. Sorry about that. I'm going to go back in with my um, brown sugar palette. And I'm going to use my Morphe M321. I'm going to take this shade Jamocha. Oh, you can't see it. Right that shade. And go right underneath the eyelid. Keeping it nice and close. Ugh. Oh, if you have dry skin, um, and you want to use a powder foundation, you're probably going to want to exfoliate really well. And make sure you moisturize super well. That way it doesn't accentuate your dryness. All right, I'm gonna go back in with the shade Ginger on the same brush and really get that in the inner corners. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry guys, I feel like crap, but I felt like doing this. I'm just gonna blend out the eyeshadow a little bit more. And I'm gonna go in with my eyeliner. This is the Lock Color Lock It Waterproof Pencil Eyeliner in Pearl Brown. I'm just going to go in on my waterline with this. I'm just forewarning you, this video is going to be long because I'm not editing any of it out. Oh, I got a little sloppy with that eyeliner, but. Oh. Okay. Now I'm going to be going in with the bronzer I've been loving lately. This is by Wet n Wild. It is their limited edition one in Queensland. I hit paint on this recently, but it had a really cool dragon in on it. You can kind of see it a little bit. I'm going to use my Real Te Techniques <laughs> blush brush and just kind of tap it into there. This is a 
softer bronzer. So you're not going to want to use a more coarse, firm brush. Some bronzers, I swear, are really hard pressed. And those ones, you're not going to be able to get too much off with a soft brush. So you're going to have to use a little bit firmer of a brush. But this one is nice and soft. And it's from Wet n Wild, so it's like five bucks. Oof. That's so good. I feel like it's more of a ready. It's coming up cool tone. It's a warm tone bronzer. And I feel like it's just been really good for this summer. The cool tone bronzers I feel like are more for winter. But I mean, you can do whatever you want to. Makeup really doesn't have that many rules. Or really any rules. But taking that down my neck. Get a little bit more on that brush. Go down the sides of my nose. Just to give my nose some dimension. I don't want it to just look, uh, excuse me, flat. Just from the foundation. Although that foundation, well, the original one, is kind of luminous. And I really like that. I don't like a matte found yeah, foundation. <sighs> All right. Sorry about that. For a blush... I have been loving, I got on um, the Kathleen Lights and ColourPop uh, collaboration blushes. This one, this one, and this one are hers. Um, and I love them. They're so, so good. If you're interested in getting them, they are amazing. This orange one does not look so orange on your face. Like, it looks like it's going to be crazy, but it's really not. And honestly, I'm going to mix all three of her collabs with them. Because... I can't pick and I love them so much and I'm just using my Firma 102 this came in a ipsy bag I think getting my cheeks and just up the temples a little bit oh I am so terrible with this lighting right here I will have one side that is just like bronzed and blushed to the heavens I'll go look in my bathroom and be like whew but it's just the way how the lighting is in my bedroom, which is where I film. And where I just sit and do my makeup. Alright, and then this is my highlighting palette from ColourPop. It's I Love Your Face. And these are the shades. They're so beautiful. The back of this is really dirty, but the names are on the back. But, um, this one, Kathleen Light's... It was in one of her favorites, so I figured I'd try it. And I figured I wouldn't use all of these shades, but I've literally used every one of these shades, so I used them all. I think I'm going to use these two middle shades, Upgrade and Bigger and Better. I love to mix these colors. I'm going to get my nose, Cupid's bow, which I'm sure is going to wear off from blowing my nose today, but oh well. Get my cheekbones. But if you're looking for a really good highlighting palette that's inexpensive, right here. And with their sale right now, you, I'd be stupid to not buy it if you wanted a highlighting palette. Ugh. But it's so good. Um, if you're darker complected, I don't know how well it would work for you. But, I mean, for light to medium skin, it definitely works great. And they also have other highlighting palettes. This is just the one that I got. I really like to go in and blend out my highlighter. Just so it doesn't look like just a streak on your face, you know? Oh, my hair is being crazy. I just cut it two days ago, so... Mm. All right. I love these highlights. They're so, so nice. All right. I'm going to go with my under eye brush and just kind of make sure there's no creasing. All righty. Like, all right. I'm going to set my face now. I'm going to use I Heart Revolution Fixing Spray. This is the Peaches and Cream. This is so, so good. I think it was $8. I'm already down to here. 
but it is such a good setting spray or fixing spray. I feel like it really melts my powders together and makes things look really smooth and even. I know I really loved the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Here that is. And this is $16 and I run out of it so fast. So I was very happy to find that. Although it's not an aerosol, so it comes out a little bit more. But I, for half the price, I'm loving this. And I love peaches, so I love the smell of that. I'm just going to dry it off a little bit. Whew. Okay. For my eyebrows, I've just kind of been leaving them pretty natural lately and just going in with a brow gel. I have this clear brow gel from Believe Beauty. This is from Dollar General. It's really good stuff. Um, they have some tints, but I just like the clear. I also have their mascara in the like plum colored tube. That stuff is super good. If you're looking for like a soft feathery eyelash mascara is really good and it's only like four or five dollars so if you're looking for something cheap check out dollar general all right so that's pretty much all that i've been doing with my eyebrows lately I'm gonna go in with mascara i know i don't really have hardly any high-end mascaras i have the Too faced what is it called better than sex mascara I don't like it. It clumps up my eyelashes and I just don't like it. It's got the style brush that I like, but I don't like the formula. Well, I got this Tarte Big Ego Mascara in my BoxyCharm box. I love this stuff. It's the same style brush, but it works so much better. All right, I'm gonna move my mirror in. So you're probably gonna see that, but this mascara is amazing. Like, I'd consider spending 20 bucks or whatever on this. But it's so, so good. Oh, gotta breathe. It's hard to talk when you're doing your mascara. But normally I feel like drugstore mascaras are just as good. I don't feel like you need to go out and spend $20 on a mascara. But this stuff is good. But if you're looking for some inexpensive mascara, like I said, that purple tube from uh, Believe Beauty at Dollar General is really, really good too. I'm going to go into my bottom lashes. But look at the difference. It's really nice. And I love that feathery, fluttery eyelash. I don't like a clumpy eyelash. So this stuff is great. And I can even build it up a little bit. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to go in and build this up just a little bit to get my desired look, but if you're at Ulta or Sephora and you want to get a nice mascara that gives you that fluttery look, check this out. You can't really test out mascaras at Sephora on there. They have those little wands for you to try them out, but really... It's not the same wand that's in the tube, so you're not going to be getting the same effect. And sometimes it's the formula that's really great, sometimes it's the brush. So, but this together, I love it. It doesn't flake, and it's really nice. Okay. Lipstick. Mm. Alright. My favorite everyday lipstick. Here, let me move this. It's by ColourPop, and it's Layover. I heard this was a dupe for Narshina. I don't know whether it is or not, but this is my perfect everyday color for me. I also like their shade Money Moves. 
that's really good too. All right. That is the finished look. Get my hair looking a little bit nicer. It's a little bit crazy. Like I said, I just cut it yesterday, the day before, something like that. It's a little bit funky, but this is the finished look. I really love how smooth I can get that powder foundation. You wouldn't think of getting something so smooth from a powder, but it's so great. And it's really good for your skin. Like, I... I kid you not, I swear my face, my skin looks better after I use it. So that is a really good foundation. If you have acne prone skin, you can use the Blemish Rescue one too, or Acne Rescue or whatever it is to help with that. But I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial kind of. Get rid of me with me. Uh, one take little video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment below if you'd like to see Tell me if you like this look or if you even tried the Bare Minerals Foundation. I know there's a lot of people that don't really like it and there's a lot of people that really love it. So tell me what you guys think. But uh, yeah, hopefully I'll be doing another video soon-ish. We'll see. And I'll see you later. Bye guys.